Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a quick tutorial on how to identify and maybe uh, uh, replace a uh, broken capacitor in your air conditioning unit. First of all, this is the only tool you'll need. It's a four-way screwdriver. It's got a socket that's the right size on the end. I uh, can't remember the size right off the top of my head. Uh, that is the power disconnect. There's a power disconnect on your unit, usually outside. You want to make sure to disconnect the power. Always disconnect the power. If you don't have a disconnect, look in your breaker box. Turn off the power. This is where you look for the capacitor. Uh, first of all, you'll know it's a capacitor is the problem because, uh, well, because the uh, outside unit won't be running, but the inside unit will be running. There is the capacitor wired up. Uh, you'll see a wire going into one of each of three ports. Sometimes you'll have more wires. Sometimes you'll have fewer. Some units have capacitors with only two ports. Uh, but it's usually it's silver, silver and cy cylindrical. Uh, this is a swollen capacitor. This one, that, that one's bad. Before you touch anything, of course, the power. Make sure you turn the power off. These things have charges on them. It's 220 volts. Don't play around with it. So, uh, there's a bad capacitor versus a good capacitor. You can see if it's swollen in any way, then that means the capacitor is probably bad. In fact, it means it's definitely bad. And the capacitor is what boosts the compressor to start on your air conditioner and your fan. On top of the capacitor are three prongs, sometimes two, sometimes more, but in this case three. And one says HERM, which stands for Hermetic Compressor. One, one says C, which stands for Common. One says uh, Fan. And you want to remember which wire went on which one of those ports. So you're going to want to make sure to look at that before you take them off. Of course, before you even touch them, turn off the power. This is just another bad capacitor. You can barely tell this one's swollen. Uh, just by the separation of the two uh, ports on top, that's just a resistor in the middle. Nothing to worry about. But you can see there's a slight separation between the two ports that shows a very slight curve bulge in the uh, capacitor. Anyway, changing this capacitor will turn a non-working air conditioning unit into a working air conditioning unit for uh, anywhere between $8 and $14. If uh, you just got to go to the right place to get it, uh, you have to, uh, uh, some, some air conditioning places are kind of snobbish and they won't let you, uh, purchase anything from them unless you're a licensed contractor or a certified HVAC tech. But, uh, some places will actually let you purchase things like capacitors, uh, which you don't need a license for. In case you're wondering, I am an HVAC certified licensed technician, also an artist and a writer. If you check out my other playlists, I have a great art tutorial, and I have some, some fun video game footage here. But most important is the book, The Dreamer's Nights, which is an awesome book, and you should check it out, and it's on Amazon, and it's on Kindle. Uh, so uh, definitely check those out. But anyway, if your inside unit is running, but your outside unit is not, you will need to get, first of all, first and foremost, kill the power. Kill the power. That's most important. Don't touch anything else until you're sure the power is dead. If you have one of those little pin lights that checks for power, use it. If you if you know how to use a, a, a an amp probe, uh, electricity tester, test it. Make sure the power is off. And secondly, those capacitors can hold a charge, so you don't want to cross between the because uh, that's how they work. They hold a charge and they fill in the empty spaces when the alternating current drops down. Uh, so they hold a little bit of a charge, so you don't want to touch those prongs together. It's like sticking a 9-volt battery on your tongue. It, it, it will shock you. So uh, anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If your inside air conditioning unit is running, but your outside air conditioning unit is not running, if you're on a split system, it is most likely your capacitor. These things fail a lot. Uh, they're, a, they're easy to replace. Make sure you pay attention to where the wires came off and put them back the exact same way. Uh, if you call a technician, they're going to charge you a lot to come out and replace a capacitor and overprice the capacitor, too. And you can buy one for really cheap. You can wire it up yourself. 
as long as you remember to turn off the power. And, uh, well, anyway, this is a quick and easy tip to uh, fix your air conditioner. Uh, check it out. Sometimes, ev even if your fan is running, feel the big pipe on your air conditioner. You've got two copper lines running into your air conditioner in cooling mode, and in, in heat pump, too, in cooling mode. The bigger pipe should be cold and sweating. If the bigger pipe is not cold and sweating, then that means either the compressor is not running, or there's no refrigerant in it, or... Actually, that, that, that's about it. Either the compressor is not running, or there's no refrigerant in it. And if the compressor is not running, it could still be the capacitor, because some units have a capacitor for the fan, and a separate capacitor for the, uh, for the uh, compressor. Just so you, you'll be able to tell because it's swollen on top. Sometimes swollen on bottom. Uh, but still, power is most important. Check out my books on Amazon.com. I hope this was helpful. And uh, guys, uh, good luck repairing. Be safe.